Good evening guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I was able to finish my entire grocery list today. I mentioned to you guys how on Monday I finished doing Walgreens um, and so that was the only like small tiny thing that I actually didn't finish because um, I need to check the uh, like one of the makeup deals I was going to do um, specifically is one of the foundations that my mom normally gets so I need to figure out what shade she is um, and like you know figure out from her bottles which one she uses so but I'm not going doing that deal at Walgreens until um, what's it called until uh, Saturday so I don't have to worry about having that that's like the last piece of the information that I need to finish I guess completely my grocery list and then again obviously if something else pops up like um, my mom had sent me like sort of a list this morning of like three little things sort of that she needed one is not so little and it's sort of expensive but um we're gonna go with it I actually found a surprisingly pretty good deal um compared to the price that everything is but um at Jewel on Saturday but um then later today she was like oh yeah like while she was making her lunch she was like do you think that you could grab like like this thing for me because um you know like she again needs special stuff for sort of like her again midnight snack um while she's on her shift so um like I said that's why it's so weird too like I don't know I just like like her being at work because again like she hasn't worked an actual like you know out of the house job since again I was pretty much little she was actually the children's ministry director at our church again also too like sort of when me and Matthew were little that was sort of like again she had it was mainly Sundays again she did a lot of like I mean obviously there were other things that went into it too but a lot of the work that she could do she could do from home as well but obviously there were like meetings things like that that she would go to but it wasn't like on a consistent basis or anything like that either so like again the last job that she worked was pretty much this one that was over like 25 years ago pretty much it's just weird like I don't know why I'm not really putting together that like she's working like I'm just like oh she's just out doing something like <laughs> you know um instead of like being out like actually working like I don't know it's again like been like again 20 years pretty much you know over 20 years 25 or so since she's worked so I don't know it's just like I said like weird for my brain to wrap around that like you know it was so weird like for those like couple weeks while my dad was off of work when we were in lockdown because I was like I have never experienced my dad not working like where it's been like again more than like a week at a time and anytime that it was like a week we would be on vacation or something like that you know or again like if it was near like Christmas time he never even like I think when I was real little again it was probably around the time my mom was still working my dad actually had like now they don't do vacation vacation days I don't know really but um like my dad had so many vacation days actually built up and like they told him that he had to use them so he ended up taking off like either a week or two weeks worth of time off like during Christmas and this was while he was at a different company I think or something like that but again I don't know how it works now it's a little different um but like my dad can like take off it's just like you don't have like a cumulative like I don't know like vacation days sort of um where like again you can use those or whatever um so again though like if my dad's like oh I'm like gonna plan on taking off this week for like vacation or whatever you know he can do that but it's you know like I said different than how it was when he used to work like that way back then but that was the only time that again I can remember and I really don't even remember it I just remember him talking about it like he either took off like the whole week like for Christmas sort of or like two weeks or something like that but again up until you know again it was you know two years ago you know whatever back in pretty much around this time in March um that my dad ended up like I said he like was off for like a couple of weeks or whatever I was like this is so weird like my dad is normally not home for this long of a period of time like for this many days like you know and so and like when he went back to work too it was weird again you know but um like I said now it's weird because my mom is going to work after her being home you know all this time and so it's not going to be like insanely weird though because like nothing like my dad and mom's schedules like will never or for the most part don't overlap it's actually funny too because my dad was joking around he's like I leave for work when you're coming home from work because my dad leaves like around the time my mom actually gets home and so they actually just like they're like two ships passing in the night I swear they just flip the cars too in the driveway so my dad pulls out his work truck and my mom ends up pulling in the driveway and that's pretty much like I said how they have ended up you know doing it 
so um like literally and again they're like not home when another person is gone the only time that i think that it might sort of be is um like on mondays i don't know when my mom will get home but like you know it will be over the weekend so my dad will be home um but like i said you know it's just really like sort of weird i don't know that um you know like when your parents again either in, like i said my dad's case where like he went he hasn't like really again taken much time off um you know is like home for like a couple of weeks or again my mom who's you know hasn't gone to work in a while like it's weird when a parent sort of like i said like switches their careers again they work from home or whatever and then they wind up going to work or again like you know too they um you know are always at work and then all of a sudden they're home again you know it's like i said it's a weird sort of occurrence so um anyway so guys i was able to though today i got actually surprisingly everything done on my planner um that i needed to i ended up making my grocery list and um i ended up doing my like meal planning as well and everything like that set up my planner for next week um i edited a uploaded to dishes laundry like I have been on it like especially this week too like been really like on my game as far as getting that stuff done but I woke up really late today like yesterday I actually woke up early today I woke up really late I don't know <laughs> so um but again for still being able to get the things done that I was able to today I feel like I said that really accomplished I guess um for again waking up late but the other thing too is that I've actually been really looking forward to going to bed sort of I don't know if <laughs> that's weird just because I've actually been wanting to read finishing my book earlier in the week or Sunday or whatever I did um and then I started reading the uh the Secret Life of Bees, which I told you guys, I was like, I'm going to try and start reading this again because it was sort of the same thing that happened last time. I was like reading it for a little while and then it was like probably over a year that the book was just sitting on my nightstand and I never ended up reading it again. And so I was like, okay, this book is going back up on the shelf because I don't really remember exactly where I left off or anything. I was like, I need to just, again, put it away, start reading it over from the beginning when I feel like it. So <laughs> that is what um, I've d been doing now and reading that and I've actually like I said been wanting to read at night when I go to bed so for some reason I've been like I said just very excited actually about <laughs> getting to go to bed at night because I'm like oh, I get to read even though I could do that during the day I just feel like I don't know it's so quiet and like peaceful like in the house at night so, like while I'm reading whereas like during the day a lot of times there's people and the dogs and you know um again people are up doing things and stuff like that and I also feel too like it actually helps me fall asleep like as soon as I put the book down, I literally fall right to sleep. Like, I'm not like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna, like, again, when I have the TV on or whatever, like, oh, I'm gonna watch TV for, like, a half an hour and try and fall asleep. Like, I read for maybe a half an hour or whatever, but sometimes when I'm watching the TV, I can't actually fall asleep. Like, you know, I'll be like, oh, like, that's a good episode or something like that, stay up longer or whatever. And it could happen when I'm reading a book too. Like I could wind up being like, wow, this is a really good chapter. I need to finish it or whatever. But, um, you know, like, I don't know. I just like, normally I'm more tired. I feel like when I actually am reading versus watching like TV or, you know, again, just trying to actually put myself to sleep without doing anything. So, um, like I said, I've just, I feel like it's very beneficial, I guess, to my sleeping. But the problem is, is that I'm not going to bed early enough. Like again, because I woke up so late today, um, I really wasn't, like didn't feel tired enough to now had I actually tried to go to bed earlier and again read my book I might have actually ended up falling asleep somewhat earlier but I also wanted to get in editing the last video that I had to edit for today so um that was one of the other reasons too so I was like I'm gonna stay up a little bit later I started editing at like 11 o'clock or 11 30 or something like that so again it ended up taking me a little while but yeah guys <laughs> anyways though i will have my haul for you guys in tomorrow's vlog i should have walgreens um valley produce and caputos and then again saturday will be um jewel and all the uh, i don't really know i don't really know if i want to share walmart because walmart's sort of like aldi it's just sometimes like the extra fill in things that like i can't get at aldi or like yeah i don't know <laughs> anyways i found some actual tupperware guys i have to share with you guys hopefully i'm able to get it at walmart when we go um it's like well it's not tupperware i guess it's rubbermaid and they're like because i used to make parfaits for my dad a lot of times because he loved them and like i find deals a lot of times on like the big things of yogurt um or like you know again extra produce and stuff like that like um i'll add like you know berries like specifically more blueberries and strawberries into the parfaits and then do it with um 
what's it called granola but um i we used to have these little like like you know food storage things that like there was a smaller one that you could like attach onto the bottom ones but they got sort of like I don't even know if they were actually dishwasher safe they said they were but they sort of got like melty in there almost like I don't know they didn't fit really well again on there maybe somebody tried to use them in the microwave maybe that was what happened um because I could you, like some of them didn't ha affect weren't affected by it but I don't know others were so like I said maybe it was actually somebody that used them in the microwave that weren't supposed to but um anyway Anyways, they uh I, they had the little thing at the top so I could put the granola in it and it was really cute and nice and like I said efficient and so I found some that actually are like almost specifically for like parfait so that you could have the like you know again like a different sort of like they also showed the bigger ones had um like carrots in the bottom with like ranch dressing or whatever with the little extra piece if that makes sense like it's a, a piece of like food storage and then there's like another little piece and then you screw the lid on so that they're separate which is the same way like for the yogurt you can put it like in the big one and then the little one can have like the granola so like I said that's what I'm actually really hoping to get it's like three bucks for like a two piece um which I actually think is fairly reasonable I honestly wouldn't mind buying like eight of them um because I actually like doing them for myself too it's just sort of a whole process if I prep them for myself though I'm more inclined to use them just because then I feel like I've wasted it and wasted my time if I don't do it but that's one thing that like I'm sort of excited actually to see if they, they do say that they have them in store at Walmart so I'd actually be like I said I want, I'm excited to look to see if they do actually have them if I can find them and again if they are like sort of what I'm thinking of and they do wind up working like that just from what I've sort of found online so anyways like again maybe I'll show you guys the stuff from Walmart it just seems like I don't know to me it's like not really like couponing stuff it's just again sort of like Aldi as well um and I don't know Aldi lately too has just not been like I don't I feel like we've been spending way too much at Aldi and I'm like we're hardly buying anything like again compared to like what like I'm able to get at Jewel for like you know the, again a big table full of stuff at Jewel and then I look at all these and I'm like is the stuff we bought just like expensive like I know like my hash browns are like four bucks but I normally buy those like every other week so it's only like two dollars really a week so again I guess it's not that bad of a deal but like again there's sometimes when I'm looking at some of this stuff and I'm like we got like 10 things and we spent 40 bucks like you know like that was last week even though we did get the mat which was like eight bucks in in itself but again I don't know why I just don't feel like we're really saving that much money at Aldi um like again I don't know but I, I mean it's cheaper than obviously getting it at other stores but I still feel like I'm like why are we buying expensive things I feel like you know specifically like at Aldi that maybe should be cheaper or you know I don't know something but Anyways, guys, <laughs> prices are going up anyway. I guess that's why. I will see you guys, though, all in tomorrow's vlog, like I said, with a haul. But if you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see you all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.